Hey y'all, good morning, good, good, not, not good morning, good evening. Sorry, today has been like a very busy day for me. Uh, ever since I like straight woke up, um, like as soon as I woke up, uh, I like started working through my, um, sorry, I started working through my, my, my short film uh, because my brother had responded to me and then we worked on it together. Um, I don't know if you guys hear that. There's like riots going on outside and stuff like that. It's crazy. I keep hearing gunshots and like, it's pretty wild. And then the police sirens keep going. It's, it's kind of crazy out there. Um, but uh, going back to my point, um, yeah, uh, my brother had responded to me this morning. And so immediately I like, went downstairs and started editing. Um, and then we did a little Zoom call and then like he talked me through like how to do some some edits and stuff, just like for technical things. And I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so yeah, I uploaded my short film uh, and I was nervous, really nervous, um, but I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it. Um, and then also like just feedback in general, whether it's uh, stuff to work on or um stuff that they that went well uh so i appreciate the fact that like people um did enjoy aspects of it and overall that people got the message um so i i really appreciate that so thank you guys for watching i really love you guys and appreciate your constant support um something else that i did want to say was that uh uh one of my homies uh like he snapchatted me as he was like watching it. Um, and yo, he's the real homie because like, I was very nervous. I was like, kind of like a nervous wreck after uploading it. Um, and kind of like, I don't know, it's just like, you know, you release something and you kind of hope for the best, but it's kind of a scary thought. Um, yeah, it's kind of a scary thought of like, you know, are people gonna enjoy it? You know, are people gonna like it? Are people gonna get it, you know? Um, so that's like a, a major thing to like, that was like bothering me. But then the homie, he like Snapchatted me as he was watching it, right? And he was doing commentary and it was hilarious and I loved it. And like, even if he was like cracking jokes, like, you know, he, <laughs> it, it made me laugh and it made me like feel a lot lighthearted um, because at least he watched it, you know, he watched the whole thing and he, he did the commentary through it, you know? Um, so I really appreciate him and like, I couldn't stop laughing and it made me a lot happier and lighthearted about this. So I feel better about uploading it. Also afterwards, he told me that like, you know, he, he really liked it. Um, and yeah, and, uh, and I, he said some other stuff, but, um, I'm not going to say it because like, it's a little personal. Um, but he said that he really liked it, you know? Um, and well, I guess I could say like, uh, yeah, I, I guess I could say like, um, he, he felt like he could relate to it, you know, and that's like overall the purpose that I wanted to go with it. Um, you know, I, uh, like I wanted it to be out there, even if it wasn't the best quality content, but I wanted the message to at least be out there so that, you know, if anyone's going through similar situations or has gone through similar situations, they can relate to that and try and like get those, uh, get those like feelings out and see if they can empathize with the character. Um, you know, or relate to it. And the fact that he was able to, I really appreciate that, you know? And I got some feedback from other people like my brother um, and my roommate. And then some other people have messaged me about it and uh, told me the things that they liked about it, you know? Um, and overall, one of the things that like people have been saying is that like, you know, uh, is that they understand the message. And I appreciate the fact that they understand the message because overall, that's what I want to do with acting and film and all that stuff. It's like, I want to show a perspective and I want people to be able to see and understand the perspective, you know, and they don't have to go through it, but if they can see it and understand it, you know, that's, that's the main goal that I want to share. Um, and I'm happy that people were able to relate to and understand that. So I feel a lot better. Um, about uploading it. Uh, and I appreciate any sort of technical feedback that people have given me because uh, definitely it's it's notes to take on for the future. Um, but for my first short film, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, so cool. Uh, 
Other than that, me and JV went grocery shopping today. And then while we were grocery shopping, actually, this was a weird thing. Uh, like all of our, everyone in, in like the grocery stores, like phones started alerting at the same time. And it's because, uh, as you can hear outside from the sirens and stuff, <sighs> uh, we're in a state of emergency here in uh, LA County. Um, so there was a curfew that was set up. Uh, and I believe either specifically here in Long Beach or just in LA County in general, that the curfew is from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So yeah, so yeah, back inside. Uh, luckily, like we were able to get back before like the curfew, uh, you know, uh, started and yeah. Um, yeah, but things are a little crazy out there. So yeah, uh, let's see. Other than that, I'm just gonna relax a little bit. I sent my I sent my script, my screenplay for the second part, uh, over to my actor. So waiting to like hear back from her and stuff. And then tomorrow, I'm going to post a casting call. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, and for for one of the characters in that. So if you're interested, shoot me a DM in my Instagram. Um, cool. All right. Uh, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys later, all right? Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be kind of short, but yeah. Uh, a short vlog, because, I mean, I already, I didn't film anything earlier today, um, because I was just so, like, scrambled and, like, you know, focused on stuff, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. What up, y'all? I uh, just finished uh, editing my vlog, so I'm gonna upload it. I know I said I was gonna, uh, I said I was gonna upload it um, before I uploaded my video, but I ended up, I was working on my video basically until I uploaded it. So, um, cause I did some re-edits this morning. Uh, yeah, so yeah, but um, finished editing it. Uh, just finished playing uh, some games too with my cousin. Um, we played some Warzone. Uh, we got second place this time. And trios but yeah it's fun man it's fun um yeah other than that uh that's about it you yeah, know that's about it um let's see uh oh yeah might as well uh, i wanted to give some uh, background on um on my film since i uploaded it now so you guys can uh, hear a little bit of like kind of like my thoughts going into it right so initially uh this all spurred like this whole idea spurred from uh a q a session that i did and it's in the vlog and i talk about it uh i'll, I'll put a link to which vlog that is um but i attended this q a hosted by cb acting studio and featured uh ellen holman an actor named ellen holman and um at the end of the q a session ellen holman challenged all the people that attended to uh, create a short film and then tag her in it and things of that sort, you know? Um, and call it the Ellen Holman Challenge. So that's initially what all this stemmed from. Uh, the thing is like, it took me a really long time to work on it because I was, you know, I was busy, didn't have time to film. Uh, I wrote it out, but it's just like, I just didn't have the time uh, to do it. Plus I didn't know, like, I, I wasn't sure how to do it. Um, Cause I've never done anything like this before. Uh, so, uh, but finally, like, you know, now that things have kind of like calmed down a little bit, I can relax, I have a breather. It's like, I decided to take the time to do it. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it was a really fun process and I loved it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, like I said before, uh, like not all the angles, uh, were things that like, it didn't fully come out the way that I had imagined it in my head, but it was able to portray the message that I wanted to get across. And basically the message that I wanted to get across with this uh, whole short film was to show the perspective of uh, someone going through a breakup basically. And then the aftermath of that, of that breakup, you know, from a serious relationship, you know, where are the tolls on that? Uh, and not only serious, uh, there could be connotations of like possibly a toxic relationship uh, based off, based off of the reaction of like the text of, uh, this person, you know, because it's very like rapid, polarly changing, you know. Um, so maybe this person has some sort of emotional instability, and you know, it's something that, uh, like, 
it's it's something that I I just wanted to show a perspective on and uh, like try and have other people see like the types of things that people go through with a breakup, you know, um, in their own personal time. You know, maybe they don't show it in the public, but in, in their personal life, it's like they can, you know, maybe they're trying to take their minds off of things, but then they can't, you know. Uh, so, like for example, in this short film, uh, we have. There's a scene where he's sitting up. There's there's two scenes where he's sitting on the couch, right? And one scene on the couch, he's reading a book, and then he he looks through his phone. So it's like even though he's trying to distract himself and like do whatever he normally does, um, he can't stop but like you know think about her. Um, and then in the second one, it's like he's playing video games, but then she texts him, you know. So it's 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 hard for him to get away from this whole atmosphere. Um, yeah, so I kind of wanted to share, uh, the perspective of, like, what goes on in your head. Uh, and also, you know, sometimes, sometimes, like, bad habits can stem from a breakup, you know? Uh, and I wanted to kind of, like, highlight that a little bit, uh, in, like, a little bit more of a drastic way. Uh, just to, like, just to show it, you know? It's, it's pretty dramatic, the fact that he, he... He had a drinking problem before, but he's like sober now. Uh, and then probably, you know, the drinking probably instigated from his relationship and the breakup and the relationship didn't help, but he decided to kind of get his act together and be sober and he was sober for 26 days. Um, and then on the 27th day, uh, it broke. Um, and yeah, so, uh, and I wanted to show the reasoning why it broke on that day. Something that I've learned in improv is that this is the day, like when you create scenes, it's the day, like the day of all days, basically. You know, like why is this, what's happening on this day? What makes this day different from every other day? You know, and the day that makes, the reason why this day is different is because he decides to break his sobriety. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I just want to like get that point across and also, uh, help people to empathize with the character, and yeah, um, let's see, <sighs> yeah, so that's like basically it, uh, like I said before, there are some things that, you know, I had pictured differently, but uh, wasn't able to portray, like for example, there's the scene where he's drinking, right, and I had a different image in my head of how that was portrayed, and one of the images in my head was the fact that like, we get the shot of him like going to the bar and drinking, so that's clear, right? And I also wanted to show the same perspective of, you know, what was seen earlier in the kitchen scene, you know? Um, and I wanted that to be there. I wanted that first initial perspective to be there. But then as he starts to drink, I wanted to switch the angle to be a close up in the mirror of, um, of him drinking, right? Uh, and I wanted so that it could show I feel like it would have shown the emotion better uh, and the action better uh, than like keeping it as the wide shot angle. Um, and I think that would have added more emotional and, and uh, perspective uh, aspects to to the film. Um, however, there is like, I, I, I did film takes for it, but the trouble is like, I saw that I was having trouble, one, with like not getting the camera in the mirror, and then two, also, another thing that I had a problem with was uh, kind of getting the blocking right. Uh, and that was a tough thing because it's like, it bothers me personally when, like, even if I edit, it's like you can tell that the person is in two different positions than, like, you know, what happened. So it doesn't seem smooth. Like, I did play around with the angle when he's on the couch and reading the book. And then it switches over to when he's on his phone, it's over his shoulder. And I played around with that more, mainly because... Uh, on the couch it was more of a still thing and he was just looking through his phone plus i wanted you to see like what he was looking at um however like uh filming that was like really annoying because there are small things that like really bothered me like uh for example like in uh in one of my takes it's like when when it's the wide shot i had my watch on 
but then like when I did the close up on the phone, my watch was off and I was like, oh man, it's like small things like that. And then like even positioning of my legs, like if the legs weren't the same, it didn't like, it didn't click with me. And then if the head positioning wasn't the same, so I did so many takes of that and it was kind of annoying to get it, but it was easier to do and finesse it, and finesse it because of the stillness of it, I feel. Um, but when I did the same takes with the scene where I'm drinking, uh, it was a lot tougher. Plus, I was like, I was drinking too much of like that, like gin flavored water <laughs> as well, because yeah, I did not clean that bottle well enough. And uh, yeah, there's there's a clip of me actually, and I think I'll put it here in, in, in at the end of this video. But there's a clip of me, uh, like where I take a drink and I literally like back up because I almost gag. Like, yeah. Um, the one that I ended up doing in my film too, that was like a real reaction as well, where like, I kind of like, I like cover my mouth and I like cough and stuff. Like that's a real reaction um, that wasn't fake or that wasn't acted, excuse me, sorry. And that, that, that was like a 100% real reaction um, because I got a taste in there that I didn't expect. Plus, like, I kind of spilled it on myself as well. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, like I said, overall, I was just trying to show the perspective of someone going through a breakup. And, uh, I know, although I know that, like, kind of, like, the quality and stuff, so, although I know that the quality, um, was, you know, it's, it, it's, like, amateur at best, you know, as well as, like, not only the quality of the directing and the camera work, uh, but also the acting, you know, I'm very, like, I'm still in the beginning stages of all this stuff. Um, and although I knew that, you know, those were a lot of limitations that I had, I still wanted to share my perspective and share this story. Um, and hopefully people could relate to it. And then, uh, and then like, I'll hear back the technical feedback because I, I'm very conscious of the position I'm at right now in terms of my my abilities in terms of like directing camera acting editing all those things like that i'm aware that like i'm at a very beginner level for all those things still um but yeah i'm still happy with with the final product and i'm you know re-watching it i realized that it gets the message across that i want to get across so yeah there's also a lot of other things that i played around with like the sound for example like um every i felt like that kind of helped out with like you know the the overacting or the amateurish acting. Um, I played with the sound a little bit and like basically anytime he touches his phone, right? Anytime he touches his phone, this like white noise cicada sound comes in, right? Uh, this offsetting sound, unsettling sound comes in. And it's because I want to highlight that he's not doing something healthy to his body when he's doing that, you know? Uh, when he's like deciding to text he misses his ex or like when he's looking back at photos of his ex you know, or when his ex picks, when his ex texts him. And then finally, when he decides to drink, you know, most of them are all phones, but then like the other thing that's toxic in his life is alcohol, you know? So I wanted to highlight anytime he's in contact with that stuff, that um, that sound is there so that you get that unsettling feeling. Um, and it's something that's like been done in other films and stuff like that to, hi to highlight negative emotion and, you know, negative feelings. So, um, yeah, I wanted to play around with that. And I think I was able to like get the point across and some people have noticed it, so appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with it. Uh, I'll, I'll be posting my casting call tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, let's hopefully see some responses from that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, my video my short film, sorry. Uh, I'm not done tonight. Uh, I still need to wash my dishes and stuff, but I'll conclude my night later. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wash the dishes. Right. Talk to you later. Peace. Uh, Bill, oh, I'm tired. Um, cool. Today was a good day. It was a good day. Stressful day, but good day. Um, yeah, started off with me uh, like editing my video a little bit, making some changes, <sighs> and then uploading it, and then kind of like, oh man, for the first like 
two or three hours. I was like living in fear of what I posted, but luckily I was outside already. So like, I mean, I couldn't really focus on it. I was like doing other stuff. So, but man, it was looming on my mind. And like, I felt so, I don't know. I felt so scared, slightly regretful that like I posted something like that and just like left it out there for people to watch. But um, I actually got a lot of good feedback from it today. Uh, a lot of um, nice words from people uh, and compliments and I really appreciate it. And it ended up turning out a lot better than I had thought it would. Um, so uh, thank you for everybody who on this first day watched, uh, watched my short film and gave me feedback and or comments um and i appreciate your nice words and also uh the criticisms that you know people gave me in terms of the technicalities but um thank you so much i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um and it's helped give me more confidence to post short films and ideas like that so thank you guys so much love you guys very much um yeah uh other than that i don't have too much to say uh so i'm gonna pass out yeah i'm gonna pass out everyone i hope you're staying safe uh thank you guys for watching love you guys and good night. Peace.